Hey guys, it's Olam here again, your tech guide. So today I decided to pull the trigger and got myself a Sony A7R 3 with the Sony 85 f 1.8 lens. So this is my very first full frame camera. I've always been using the <clears throat> the Sony 65 and 6400 and um, I decided to just upgrade and um, you know go for the full frame since I'm starting to build my Instagram profile I'm gonna take a lot of pictures and um, build my profile there and hopefully later on down the road once I've got a lot of uh, pictures on there I could hopefully get some clients to um, to ask to photo shoot them so that's why I just decided to go ahead and grab this camera I wanted to get the a7r4 but the price and the difference between this there wasn't much significant to really go for it besides the um, video um, the autofocus on the r4 is so much better than this but mainly what I'm gonna be using this is just straight up for photo um, later on if I do decide to get a a base of just specifically for video hopefully they will have the a7s4 out by then so anyways guys let's just do a quick unboxing here and um, let's unbox the lens first so and also I was kind of debating between the Sony 85 1.4 G Master and again a lot of people are saying that for the price what you're getting uh, you're paid for it's just better off to go with this version over here 1.8 instead of the G Master who knows maybe down the road once I start uh, you know building up my profile and get get some client coming in I will um, upgrade later on down the future but other than that guys i'm just gonna start off with this and um that's kind of odd here guys it looks like you see the cap there's a lot of scratches already here whoa look at that a lot of scratches already guys oh boy it might be this might be a use lens I'm not too sure, but that cap there, that's not normal, guys. That's a bunch of scratches. Okay, well, anyways, I'm going to probably bring that back to Best Buy. That really sucks. Kind of ruined my uh, mood now. But anyways, there it is. I still do have 14 days. I could probably return this and ask for another lens or so. I don't want to get a re re um, refurbished lens and pay the full price of a brand new one. That just really sucks. But anyways, here it is. Now let's open the camera itself. Let me put this away. So that's already a bad experience. Oh, Best Buy. Best Buy. Okay, so here it is. A7R3. Let's open it up. I hope this is a brand new box camera. I did purchase the four year warranty on this. So I was at accidental droppage and um, what is that fluid? It is fully covered for four years. So I am good with that. And let's check this out here. So we've got the strap, A7, we've got all the accessories here, battery, charger, and we should, there should be somewhere here, our battery pack. Okay, we do have our USB Type-C, and this one I'm not too sure of, but anyways, let's just put that on the side. Okay, the strap is there and the bat and the uh, camera's right here guys 
Let me see on the side here. Hopefully the battery's here on the side. Okay. Yeah, this is what I'm missing with my Sony 6400. Um, I need a, definitely a bigger battery. It's just ridiculous how small. Oh wow, look at that guys. A few more scratches. Okay. Wait, hold on. Let me see. Hopefully I can brush this off. Look at that. A few more scratches. I had the feeling this was a used camera and somebody just returned it. So I'm going to try to bring this back. This is ridiculous, guys. Luckily, I did an unboxing here just to show them the proof that it wasn't me that scratched this up. But anyways, this is ridiculous. Uh. Okay, let's check out the camera itself here, guys. Check out for scratches now since that is what's happening here. My experience of supposed to be buying a brand new camera. Let's check out if there's any damages. Okay. So it looks pretty good. We've got all our connector on the side here. Oh shoot. Okay, I just dropped the box and also we're here. Plenty of stuff. And basically what I'm excited for is the 42 megapixel on this camera. And let's put on the lens and see how everything goes here. Let's put on the battery. Okay, and let's grab my lens. All right, nice, nice guys. It's still lightweight, it's not too heavy. That was the other issue getting the G Master is when it comes to weight, it's gonna be very heavy. And you know, I want a lightweight setup. But anyways, that's what it is. It looks nice, guys. So I cannot wait to test this out. I will be posting a lot of pictures on my Instagram at your tech guide. So if you want to follow me, go ahead and check out what kind of quality and photos you can get out of this combination. So that's pretty much it guys, just a little quick unboxing with the A7R3 and with the 85 f1.2. So stay tuned, until then, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!